Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So, you know, I saw that video from Brie Hall and she mentioned this Think Dirty app, so I decided to get it because I wanted to check out the Eco Styler for myself and then see some other products as well and just see what's good and what's not good. To my surprise, when I looked at Eco Styler, I saw the 8, which is what she showed in her video. Let's see, they got olive, just olive and argan. But when I click on it, yeah, it's red and it's 8, but the 8, wow, carcinogenicity up there at 8, I guess. Okay, so it's looking pretty dirty. Let me see what the disclaimer says. They sometimes get compensation. Hmm. Yeah, so what was it on it was actually fragrance, which is basically some mystery. They have tetrasodium EDTA as a three, which also kind of concerns me because I know EDTA can kind of make you susceptible to some other chemicals in there. Yeah, they didn't even mention the TEA at all. And I know for a fact that Eco Styler contains TEA, they just said so on their website. So don't rely on Think Dirty because they seem to do a really halfway job of reviewing ingredients, adding ingredients. Like you just can't even trust what they say. TEA is not on here at all. I know TEA is not added just for fragrance. And even if it should be mentioned separately, if Eco Styler mentions it separately. So... Where's the TEA? It's just concerning. So my takeaway from this is don't trust Think Dirty. They want you to feel like it's thorough and it's true and everything, but they're not really doing a thorough job of it. Yeah. So this has a it as in dirty for fragrance. And I noticed that the Curly Girl's favorite the Diva Curl also has some it's. So that was kind of interesting as well. Yeah, so look at all these it's. I know your curly girls love your some diva curl. So it's interesting to see all these aids for diva curl. Just 88888. <laughs> they really think diva curl is right up there with equal styler according to this. So, and when you click on them, let me click on, I'll click on this one. When you click on them, again, it looks really dirty. Well, of course, I never like urea anyway, so another reason I don't spend big money buying Diva Curl. Why am I paying big money for cheap products? Like, you know, so Diva Curl to me is a huge racket, but anywho. Diva Curl has really gotten worse, it seems. Or is this one of the original lines and nobody cares? Like, I don't even use these things. But it's funny to me that people praise Diva Curl as like natural and. You know, all those curly girl freaks is like, oh, paraben, sulfates, and they're out here using urea and stuff. You can see that the fragrance is listed as 8 as well. So this one has DMDM, -DM, like seriously. I don't use this either, but... The money that they're charging, they should be charging eco styler money. At least, at least they could do. Anywho, that's it. I just wanted to point out that Think Dirty doesn't have reliable ingredients list, doesn't rate the ingredients reliably. And just as a side note, Diva Curl doesn't rank high at all in terms of safety. So that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Think Dirty exposed, Diva Curl exposed, I guess. See you in the next one. Bye. Now PSA, I'm not saying that any of these products will kill you or cause cancer or any of that. All I'm doing is letting you know some of the important properties of certain ingredients in these products. So take it, leave it, do what you want with it. And I'm not making a claim about the entire product. It's just rainbows and ponies, right?